I'm Rob Kraft. And I'm Paul Mayer. So we've got a Fletcher class destroyer here. This wreck is either the Johnston or the Hull. We believe this to be the Johnston and there are two specific reasons why we believe that and we're going to get into those as we go through the video. So this is our 6,000 meter contour we did along the edge of the trench and we had a single run of the AUV going up that, that trench and it aborted halfway through the line and actually you managed to pick out a shipwreck on the spiral up. Yeah, we ran another mission over there and uh, you know we ran at 6,000 meters knowing we could see a little bit deeper and this is what we saw. So the location of this wreck geographically is is in the southern part of the you know where this battle took place and so this is one of the reasons that we believe this is the Johnson because she sank later after Howell did. So we've got two funnels, two funnel liners. This is the uh, the first one. This is the second funnel we came across, and you can see the shape, uh, the top of this funnel here, and this is uh, indicative of a, a Fletcher class destroyer. I mean, you can see it's very distinctive shape. So this is the first of two five-inch mounts that we found. And as we're getting closer here, uh, one of the problems we had on this dive is that we found the ROV was slightly negative. It was our first deep dive in a long time. Yeah, I wouldn't say slightly negative. She was really negative. And uh, yeah, this was 6,220 meters. And, um, once we gained that buoyancy, or we lost that buoyancy, the problem was is we had to keep thrusting the vehicle up to keep it off the bottom. And so at times you may see that there's kind of this dust cloud that approaches from under the vehicle and around us. So we didn't have much time to spend on each one of these items that we came across. And another reason why we don't like to dive the vehicle negative would be we might lose it. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's true. So this is the first one we came across. Um, yeah, and this is the this is the number three gun on a Fletcher class destroyer. Um, and you'll see as we will work our way around this gun, and you'll see that this particular gun sits on top of a uh, you know a pedestal or a raised area, so it has external. Uh, vertical sides next to the mount itself. So it's not down into the deck, right? And, and that's another reason why we know it wasn't the Samuel B. Roberts, because that was a destroyer escort and its five inch mounts were all flush mounted to the deck. Yeah, that's correct. And so any of the framework you see around um, a destroyer escort would have interior, you know, ribbing. You'd see that the, uh, that, that was interior spaces and not exterior like you'll see on this particular gun. And so here we're starting to come around to the uh, the side of the gun where you can see that you're going to have exterior surfaces um, on this mount. You can see the barrel lying down in the mud. And that vertical uh, piece that you see in the background there uh, is attached to a catwalk that goes forward to the torpedo launcher that sits in front of uh, the number three gun on the Fletcher class. And you're going to want to note that the, uh, the color or lack thereof of these exterior surfaces. And also just there in the middle of this particular gun mount, you can see it, it's damaged pretty badly. But these are dogs uh, for a watertight door that would sit right there. So you know that's an external uh, surface. And that's an important point. The hole had a dazzle paint job. Yeah, she was in measure 32 1D. So she was in dazzle and 
uh, this particular surface here and that gun on uh, the, I believe the port side should be entirely black. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, we'll, we'll let everybody look up their own uh, versions of the Dazzle and you can see. Whereas the Johnston basically had two different tones of blue. Yeah, she was a measure 21, no Dazzle. Um, so you, you would see pretty much solid colors like you do right here. See there you can, over on the, the lower left, you can start to see this little dust cloud that's been following us. And that's a good view of the catwalk and the support. Yeah. So we only found one prop shaft on this dive. And one propeller for that matter, wasn't it? Yeah, just the one. Which makes you think that there is more wreckage out there that we didn't see. And we couldn't do high frequency here because it wouldn't show the depth because it would be too, yeah. have too much. Altitude. Yeah, the, the altitude would be so high that we'd get nothing out of range scale. So uh, doing HF in here is, is not going to happen. However, we do have a target down to the south. So next time we get back over here, we'd, we'd certainly want to look at that. And I think we can reach that. And this piece of debris here is just some deck deck plating. Yeah, it's the, it's the only uh, recognizable piece of um, horizontal deck that we were able to find. You can see the bit and the fair lead there. So we we know that this is uh, kind of the weather deck area. And it's the only piece that we found. And again, there's no evidence of any dazzle paint job. Yeah. So this is the first of two uh, five inch gun mount tops or the covers that are on top of the guns. Uh, this one is inverted, but in the top right hand corner there, you can see the access or the hatch for the, the gun captain's, uh, his hatch. And then we just kept moving along, and this is another, just a large piece of debris. As we were moving along, we were basically picking out large sonar targets from the, the ROV sonar. Right. And this was just another large piece. It, it had red bottom paint on it, so we know it was below the water line. Yeah. It, <clears throat> and this, this wreck that we found is, there is no hull structure intact that we could find. I mean, this com this wreck is completely decimated. There is, it is just debris. There is no whole structure. This is the mast. I know somebody at the NHHC was counting the rungs on it, trying to differentiate between the oh. Johnson and Hull. But it was inconclusive. And then we just have another large portion of internal debris. Right. I, it's painted white, so we just assume that's the inside of the ship. This is an interesting piece of wreckage. We're not sure what this is. Um, hopefully someone out there would be able to help us identify this one. And there, there is glass in some of these holes. Yeah, uh, it makes it a little strange. You would think it would be exterior if it's, if it's got glass in there, but uh, I, you know. I would hate to speculate. We try not to speculate. Because <laughs> you know that gets us in trouble, right? <laughs> But uh, somebody with familiar with the Fletchers ought to know what this is. We, 
the speculation we have done. I think it's uh, steering steering gear, possibly. Oh, God. Uh, here, here we, we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> And there's our little dust cloud following us. So this is another barbette. Uh, this could have been a five inch gun or a 40 millimeter Bofors mount. We are unclear. But we don't think it was the mount for the torpedo because they were the torpedo launcher because they were flush mounted to the deck. I don't think they had that structure underneath them. So much for speculation, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is a barbette, uh, but we do not know which which one or what it was for. Agreed. I'm going to go with that. Okay. So the, the video is a little bit out of order here. Uh, when we came across this track in the mud was one of the funnels. Uh, but I, I just wanted to point it out that something appears to have slid further down the, into the Philippine Trench here. But yeah. this is the deepest part of our dive and we really didn't want to go any deeper. No, we were, we were deep enough and you know, we could have followed that thing for, I don't know how many meters down there, but it was, it was getting deeper, faster. Exceeded our comfort level. Especially Pat, since he was driving. Yes, indeed. Uh, and here's a bit of aluminum debris, uh, showing one of the colors of uh, a blue. blue. Yeah, again. A blue. No sign of dazzle. This is just one of the holders for the cork floater nets. And then we came across a bunch of debris. We actually came across the one earlier, but this is just a better view coming from the opposite direction. Yeah, coming into view, you can see the, the second of the uh, five inch gun mount covers. And this uh, right there in the lower left is the uh, gun captain's splash shield. And this was kind of a, a sticking point for us to begin with because we couldn't find any photos of Johnston that had a blast shield on one of the five inch guns. Yeah, there's very few photos of Johnston or confirmed photos of Johnston. And I did reach out to the Johnston organization to see if they had any photos. But I haven't heard back. And again, I mean, we have no idea which mount this would have been on, but again, it's, uh, you've got a consistent color on the top of this. Yeah, and again, in a dazzle, you would have had varying so, colors. Yeah. And this is approaching the second five inch mount that we found. And I don't think we ever concluded if this was a deck mounted gun or one that's on the upper level. Yeah, difficult to say. Um, it does appear that the, you know, some of the sides that you have there are, are interior bulkheads. But again, it's, it's difficult to say on this one. You can see the barrel there lying in the, um, in the mud. And you can see the bottom end of the turret there, just to your right hand side. Covered in some mud, but again, lack of color. We're all consistent.
So here we are, we're working our way around this this gun mount and uh, certainly a change in color here. On the right there, it looks like it might be some of the exterior. You know, the near side over to the left it would suggest, that, you know, you can see the framework or the ribs there that, that may suggest interior bulkhead. Um, around the bottom here, you can see this lip that wraps right around uh, both sides. I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, unclear. So this is the final piece of debris uh, that we came across just before recovering. It looks like there's a curved, could, could be from a hatch there, could be from another gun mount. Yeah, we didn't, didn't get a good shot of that. So are, are we going to go back? Uh, I'm planning on it. We have more to do there. There's another target down there I want to go look at. Um, this is one of our longer videos. We wanted to put out as much information as we could. Uh, see if we could uh, glean some assistance from our, our followers and have them provide opinions on what they think this wreck is. We believe it to be Johnston. Um, let us know what you think. Yeah. Thanks for watching.